What's up, y'all? It's your boy Fanatic. Here to talk about that new album coming at you. Crime and Consequences. Let's get into it. So why call the album Crime and Consequences? Mm, it's simple, really. I mean, when you think about it, we live in a world that's full of violence, full of crime, full of vulgarity. Almost every form of media we have is pushing violence at us, pushing crime at us like there's like, no consequences for our actions. But truly, we, we see them all the time. Cats get locked up. Cats end up in the grave. But I'm like, what if the cat down the end of the block wasn't the only person that we hurt in our crime? What if our crimes were really against God? Makes me wonder why is it that young bucks are so quick to untuck the gun buck at someone just to have some fun, but this can't be undone. I'm staring at the young and he had death in his eyes. He I go by the name of Fanatic, of course. Um, chose that name because I came in the door at a time when Jesus Christ was unpopular and I was proud to be out there screaming his name. I said, yo, y'all gonna call me a fanatic and I'm gonna love it. But it's funny, you know, today, it seems the best thing you can do for your career is be down with Jesus Christ, no matter how you're living. Um, everybody's saying his name, but what matters to me as a fanatic now is the context. Don't just say his name, fit his name in the right place. 1995, the number, another summer. Evening is hot, 95 degrees, no breeze for this young team. Crime and Consequences is a different kind of an album for me. Um, my first album, Incredible Walk, was real underground. Uh, this album, there's a lot of that stuff still involved, the wordplay, the metaphors, the all that, you know, kind of stuff, but it's more hidden. You'll appreciate the songs a lot more as you hear them in context with other songs. Set free if you won't let the world try to clone you sexy if you know what you know go get at me if you're holding down the zone on your own attached to the word even when you're home alone like last key here we are at Issachar Studios this is where it all went down you know what I mean I was in it for a couple months on end just grinding it out it was a grueling process I gotta be honest with you but it's just done now uh, this is my man Speedy who was uh, in here helping me engineer the bulk of the project. One of the songs he's featured on is uh, one of my favorite songs, a song called Top Ten. I don't rep your city, you're my city. I only represent the Lord God who gets busy. And the airwaves is fair game for his air campaign. If you know him, I know you're tired of what their band's playing. But don't worry, every contradictory time, Dick and Harry's gonna have his day. In court, in short, what I'm saying is the way it is now ain't the way it's gonna stay. A lot of people ask the question like, where is hip hop going? I got a song on the album called Mason Dixon. And it's basically talking about the divide in the North and the South in the days after slavery. Um, how to advance African American people in the South seemed to have won out. The idea in the North was about education uh, and that lost. Um, but even in hip hop today, I think that debate is still going on. And it seems like the idea of learning through hip hop and educating through hip hop, it seems to come from the North a lot of times, is losing to this idea of, nah, just, you know, get that dough and, and party to your grave. And you as the listener has, you know, you have the choice. What do I want my hip hop to do? This music don't make you think. That's what he said as we sat on his porch and talked about the difference between the South and the North. Fast enough, we got a limited edition album cover where if you get it, you're going to see two different images. One where dudes are locked up, you know what I mean, behind bars. Since we're all behind the bars of sin and death in this life, we're all criminals. But if you move it, you're gonna see a whole nother image where dudes are set free. Because we realize it's only in Jesus Christ that any of us can be set free. I'm hoping that cats begin to, to live like they understand their consequences in this life and in the life to come. But the question is when you die, are your consequences still waiting for you? Are you really ready to go? Are you ready? Let me know. Are you ready? Let me know. 